I really often get asked about my big remounting jaws for the lathe. These are very useful for bowl turning so that you can easily hold a bowl like so and work on the bottom. And as you can see I made them myself out of wood and it was very simple to make so let me show you how I did it. All it basically is is a disc of 15mm birch plywood and a few holes and screws. And these holding pieces just consist out of a bolt and a little door stopper that I found in a hardware store. And these screw directly into the wood into some holes that are threaded out with a metal tab. All of this is based on these little chuck jaws that I bought for my chuck. But the first time when I saw them I already know these are not suited for bolts of any respectful size. So I really had to build my own bigger ones. So now let me roughly demonstrate how I made these. I started out with a rough disc and cut it into quarters. Then before cutting away this little section I lined it up with the existing jaw, transferred the hole positions and drilled them. And after making sure that these holes were drilled correctly and would line up with the jaw I then cut away this piece to get access to the chuck mounting screws. Then I mounted them to the existing jaws and mounted all of these to the chuck. Then I mounted this to the lathe. and close the chuck all the way and then I turned it round and smaller until it was small enough so that it wouldn't hit the lathe bed when the chuck is opened all the way. With that done I then had to figure out the hole spacing. Therefore I need to know the maximum travel of my chuck and to figure this out I opened it all the way, measured from tip to tip and divided that by two. I then subtracted another 2mm from that so that I would have a slight overlapping area so that it would be guaranteed that I can really hold any bowl size with these. I then put it back on the lathe and started marking these circles. I started 6mm from the edge so that right here is still enough material for the screw so that when you have a screw inserted and apply pressure it won't break out from the pressure. And then I just worked my way to the center until I was close to the screws. With the circles I then marked the lines for the hole positions and the angles here are 22 and a half, 45 and 22 and a half so that they are all evenly spaced around the circle. As you can see they are also in line with these screws. And then I just drilled and tapped all the holes for the M5 bolts I'm using. That's probably something in inches, I don't know. But yeah well then it was already done. You could also apply a finish to there so that they wouldn't stain the bolts you're turning but I haven't had a problem with it being unfinished so I'll leave it like it is. And this is actually the second one I made because the first one I made with little T-nuts for these holes but that turned out to be not such a great idea. First of all you can't get as close to the edge with these as you could with just holes because the T-nuts are just too big and you would need to cut them down but I really didn't want to do that. But the bigger problem was that I couldn't get the right spacing with these. Of course I could have offset them, but that would have been much more work to lay it out and, well, just not worth it. And another problem was that I couldn't get all of them straight into the plate and so some of them were crooked. And so also these would have been crooked and, well, kind of grabbed the bowl not correctly. And with just the tapped holes they are always straight and the birch plywood really is strong enough to hold this. And also for my version I would have needed 64 T-nuts and in that amount they will start to cost some money. Without these this cost me like nothing because I already had all the materials on hand. And if you had to buy the plywood and these screws then I don't know 4 or 5 bucks. Really cheap. Now last but not least for a little demonstration I happen to have this little bowl here which still needs the bottom to be turned. And I can line it up roughly with the circles here to figure out where I need to mount these. The only downside is that my chuck key is a little too small, but I can live with that. Now with the bow mounted like so, it's really easy to turn down the bottom, but 
It's really important to take light cuts because this ball is just held by a few rubber pieces and I already had some bolts coming off of them and that's really no fun. Also note that I'm only making pole cuts, that means I start cutting in the middle and pull the tool outwards. I prefer that over the push cuts, so from outside to inside, because I have more control that way. If the wood grabs the tool slightly during a pole cut, it also kind of wants to push the tool away and so the cutting stops immediately. But if that happens during a push cut, I have the feeling that the wood kind of wants to grab the tool and make it even more aggressive and so it maybe digs into the wood and leaves a bad surface or it even ends up in a catch. Then I mounted this to the lathe. Fuck you. Then I mounted this to the lathe. Well, then these were crooked and then this just... Eh. Uh. Hmm, where's the last one? Uh.